So <clears throat> as far as I know, the FRQ test that you'll take this year will be, I'm assuming, somewhat the same format that it, it has always been, just half as long. Instead of 90 minutes of FRQ testing, only 45 minutes of FRQ testing. Uh, until they give us more detail, which they're supposed to do on April 3rd, we'll go with that assumption. So anyway, this is part B of the same FRQ, so the same information about the particle moving. This one says find all times during the time interval between 0 and 3 seconds, we'll assume, that the particle changes direction. So again, I remember the golden notes on the back side. The back side has a lot of phrases and reminders about how things must be written for FRQ points to be earned. So there is a phrase there on the back that says, the velocity changes sign, so the particle changes direction at that time. So this is what I want to be able to write, so I just have to figure it out. So I have in my calculator already the velocity. I set my window for 0 to 3. I do a zoom fit. I get this graph of the velocity. And I notice that only at this time, which turned out to be 2.507, or 6, depending on how your calculator rounds, this is the only time when the velocity changes from being a negative velocity, meaning the particle would be moving to the left, and now the velocity changes to positive values of velocity, meaning the particle would be moving to the right. Um, we could show that on the calculator just real quick, just to make sure that makes sense. So in the calculator, if I hit trace, the calculator will display the various velocities as I move along. So all these velocities are negative. You can see that here. So all the velocities are negative. And then, of course, along here, the values of velocity are still negative. Now the values of the velocity will change. Now I have positive values of velocity, meaning the particle is moving to the right. And I find this point by doing a second, hit the trace key, choose zero. You need a left bound. This is one, two. So I'm going to type two, or you can use the cursor. Two. Now I need a right bound. Over here at 3 will be sufficient. So x equal 3, press enter. It asks for a guess. Cursor needs to be somewhere in the vicinity of the 0. Uh, that's definitely somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to type 2.5, 2.5, press enter. I must make sure that the calculator says 0, otherwise I won't get the point. So I found the correct time, 2.507. So this is what I wrote. This was worth two points. One point for finding the time, that's the red point. One point for the correct wording to get the justification. So two points total.